There are so many good recipes out there for delicious keto desserts. Some of them are really good macros. Other are a little bit high, especially when you're trying to squeeze it into your net carb budget for the day. If you're trying to stick to either under 20 to 30 grams of carbs a day, I have a collection of recipes for you guys that are zero carb desserts. Actually, they're less than one gram of carb, but we'll just round it down, right, to zero. Let's get started. I've said it before and I'll say it again, desserts really aren't necessary on the keto diet. In fact, as you become more fat adapted, you don't really have a sweet tooth anymore, but it's great for when you're first starting. To start, let's make a recipe that's actually kid friendly too. We're gonna to be making gummy worms. These gummy worms are very easy to make and we're gonna be using an electrolyte powder by Element to help flavor them. Plus it's gonna give some extra nutrition because you're getting electrolytes in each bite. I like using Element electrolytes because they have a well-balanced and higher amount of electrolytes than other leading electrolyte mixes. Plus they're flavored, so they're delicious. They're citrus, orange, watermelon, raspberry. They even have a chocolate one. And they dissolve really well in water too. If you guys are interested and wanna try Element's electrolyte packs, you can. You can get eight electrolyte packs as a sample. All you have to do is just pay for shipping. It's $5 for shipping in the US, and I'll have the link down below in the description description box for you. But I'm gonna use these electrolytes today to make our gummy worms. We're gonna start by adding one cup of water to a small bowl and then add in our Element Electrolyte Pack. I'm just using one packet and I'm gonna do two different flavors for these too. So I'm gonna do an orange and then a watermelon. And this is optional, but if you want some additional sweetness to your gummy worms, you could add a little bit of sweetener. So I have a half a teaspoon of a monk fruit blend sweetener going in here. Make sure it's the powdered kind just so it dissolves a little bit better. Mix that until everything is combined, and then we're gonna add in gelatin. So this is three tablespoons of unflavored beef gelatin. Mix that up, and then I'm gonna heat this in the microwave. You wanna heat it for a few minutes just until everything dissolves and the mixture starts to boil. You don't have to use the microwave if you don't want to. You could do this on the stove top. Just transfer it to a saucepan and let it cook until it starts to boil. Next, I'm gonna add some food coloring. So since I have two different flavors, I'm going to be coloring mine a couple of different colors. And just add a few drops in to your desired look. You don't have to add in the food coloring if you don't want to. Mix it up, and then we're gonna pour this into our gummy worm mold and I'll have those listed down below in the description box on the one that I used. I use a pipette just to help fill each of the cavities. Um, it's a little bit easier and my mold did come with one. I couldn't find it, so I'm just using a regular plastic pipette that I have. And the next step is to just put these in the refrigerator and let them cool for a few hours until they've hardened. Now, I will say that if you do not have access to any sort of flavored electrolytes, you could actually use some um, flavored Jello too, or even some extract drops. Though that might work too. I haven't tried it, but those are just some suggestions if you don't want to use flavored electrolytes. And after they've hardened, they're super wiggly. You just pull them on out, and they make the best candy and fun treat to have. We're going to be making a keto milkshake. So this is a zero carb milkshake. And when it comes to making keto milkshakes, a lot of us will add in a ton of heavy whipping cream, like a cup, two cups. That is a lot. That adds up to be a lot of calories. Plus there actually is some carbohydrate in heavy whipping cream. I think the actual official amount is like 0.3 grams per tablespoon, I believe. So I'm not gonna be adding in that much heavy cream. I will add enough, but again, I wanna keep this recipe under one gram of net carb. So to a blender, we're gonna add one cup of ice, one cup of water, three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, 
two tablespoons of sweetener of your choice. I'm gonna be using a powdered monk fruit blend sweetener. And then to help flavor this, you can add in whatever flavor extract you want. And I'll have my brand that I use all the time listed down below. This flavor I'm gonna be using today is toasted marshmallow, but they have a wide range of flavors that you could choose from. There's like blueberry, apple, vanilla cupcake, lots of different fun flavors. So I'm gonna add in around 20 drops of the toasted marshmallow flavor. And then blend that up and pour it into your glass and you could top it with a little bit of whipped cream if you wanted. But again, that's probably gonna add a little bit extra carbs. And it's delicious. This is a fun, easy treat that you can have that's, again, less than one gram of carb. The next zero carb dessert recipe we're gonna make is one that I found on the internet. It's not my recipe. It comes from the girl who ate everything. And she shared on her website, and I'll have that listed down below for you guys, how to make a cinnamon sugary pork rind mix. This is a delicious snack, especially when you want something that's salty and sweet too. All you do is just take a bag of original flavored pork rinds and put it into a Ziploc bag. And then we're gonna add in a quarter cup of melted butter. And then I'm gonna mix mine as I go. And then I'm gonna also add in a quarter cup of powdered sweetener. This is the erythritol based sweetener. And again, just add a little bit in and mix as you go. And then one tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Give everything a good mix so that it's evenly coated and then pour it into your serving bowl. This is so good. It's actually like a good equivalent. If you like something sweet and crunchy to snack on at night, like maybe it's movie night, this should be your option. Up next, we're making cookies that are less than one gram of carb per serving. Actually, these are 0.3 grams of carbs. We're gonna make keto meringues. Now, a meringue cookie is just made out of egg whites, so there's a bonus there, and we're gonna sweeten it with um, keto sweeteners. And you could actually flavor these if you wanted to. They're so pretty and they're easy to make. You wanna start in a large bowl and add four egg whites. Make sure you don't get any of the yolk because that's gonna cause your egg whites to not puff up. This bowl also needs to be clean and dry. It can't have any sort of wetness in there. Then add in a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, and this is gonna help make those egg whites be super stiff when we whip them up along with a pinch of salt then with an electric mixer you're gonna beat your egg whites until it starts to get this foamy appearance at this point I'm gonna add in my sweetener which is half a cup of powdered erythritol And if I was gonna add any food coloring, like color these like pink or purple or blue, I would add in my food coloring drops right now. Continue whipping this up until you get extremely stiff peaks that form. It's gonna take a few minutes, probably several minutes, but basically you wanna whip it up to enough to when you t try to tip over the bowl and nothing comes out. That's how stiff those peaks are. Now your meringue is ready to pipe. So I put mine in a piping bag. I'm using a star tip, but you could use a regular round tip too and just pipe them onto a parchment lined baking tray. Then we bake them in the oven at 200 degrees and then let them sit for an hour just to harden. What's fun is that you could actually do different themes for the holidays. So you could use the traditional star tip ones just for any time. But if you wanted to make little ghosts, just get like the round tip to pipe them out, to pipe out ghosts, add some candy eyes and a little O mouth. And then you could even make Christmas trees out of these too. Just dye them green. These are super fun and I love these. They like dissolve in your mouth when you eat them. They're delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed all of these recipes. Let me know down in the description box if you have any more zero carb dessert ideas that you wanna share with us.